guys, and welcome back to part two of Mercenaries 2, Solano's Revenge. Last time we kicked off our journey with the usual salute of introductions and trickery from Solano and Belanco. Some absolute bullshit lacking any sort of logic, I might add. But uh, we were eventually able to recapture Solano's mansion and recruit a helicopter pilot. Can we keep him? Which is useful. We do need a helicopter pilot. Are you sure? You're a fucking secretary. Fuck you! Eventually allowing us to continue our search for Blanco. But first... What are the gorillas up to? Arriving at their HQ deep in the jungle, I spoke with their leader, Marcella Acosta. My name's Acosta. Marcella Acosta. Who almost immediately calls me out for my work with Universal Petroleum. Those pigs deal with Blanco and Solano. An accusation that is thrown under the rug so quickly I'm left wondering what the fuck it was even brought up for. Why come to the People's Liberation Army? What's the contract? Alright. I mean, what the hell is going on? Apparently, good old Fortress Island is once again under VZ control. And Acosta would like us to bring it to the ground. I want it leveled. Again. and extract some dude. It doesn't look Venezuelan. Chinese? His nationality is not important. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't care who he is anyway. Then why ask? What the fuck are these cutscenes? Well, once again tasked with turning Fortress Island into Rubble Island, we set off for our destination. Only to appear back at the same base we just left. God damn, this jungle is thick! Where the hell am I? We lost! We fucking super lost, man! Tell him, McCluskey! Tell him what time it is! Eventually, making it into civilization and finding a new truck, I made my way to the north coast, where I located a jet ski. A perfect infiltration vehicle for my needs. <laughs> Can you imagine, like... You're just, like, waiting and you hear from a distance. Climbing ashore, I made it through the usual riffraff of Sam's and artillery. Down, down. Before trying desperately to prevent two officers from fleeing. Don't let them get away. I need more ammo. I missed one. But led the shit out of another. Boom. Goddamn bending bullets over here. With that dickhead gone, the demolition of the fortress can commence. Sam after Sam, artillery piece after artillery piece. Objects on the island were falling. This thing is gonna blow! There was little the VZ could do about it. <laughs> Even a lighthouse. Now everyone shall be lost at sea. Locating a heli friend, I was able to get support systems back up. Support options are back online. And we were finally able to call in our first airstrike. Which just reeks of Mercenaries 1. And nothing takes the spice out of an airstrike than the lethal devastation of a grazing RPG. That's it! Targets destroyed. Nothing left but rubble. Wow. What a fortress. It's safe to say we may have endangered local commerce more than the VZs on this one. This place was a dump already. Probably from the whooping we already gave it. Who knows? Don't forget, you've got a hostage to rescue as well. Acosta gave me the coordinates. I'm marking his position on your map. With the hostage rescued and the fortress destroyed, we rode off into the sunset. Wondering what was next. Ah, yes. Ah. Yep. Well, seeing as this is a good time to slow things down, I figured, why not check out some of the side objectives available? Like, what is his money? Ooh, different, all kinds of stuff. Tasked with guarding oil barrels from VZ attacks, I knew. If they do, it'll be with an eye towards destruction. This was a mistake. Uh, why? Like, these guys need barrels protected, but leave them, I don't know, in the fucking open? 
can we please, like, make some attempt to protect them besides me? I'm sick and tired of carrying all the weight. Uh There's a warehouse right there. Let's use it. Realizing our current predicament resides in a familiar location from the past, perhaps methods from such times would work too. And the short answer? Yes. Thanks to our heroic efforts and the expiration of three minutes, those oil barrels are safe. Never to be harmed again. Ever. Awarded with an allied scout truck and Alex Garisha's contact, my heart and supplies were filling up, and it wasn't long before I was back. Continuing our unhealthy relationship. Perfect. First, by lying. Yes, no problem. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, I can't tell if I've made any progress or not. This is like falling apart at the seams right now. Maybe if I do a side mission for them or something, they'll be happy. My associates would be very appreciative. Oh my god, I just got here. Arriving in a shit sandwich, my mind went to survival mode as death came knocking. Good lord. Clutching victory out of the jaws of defeat. Fucking somehow. Amazing that I did this. I don't even know what just happened. And it didn't help things at all. <laughs> Wait, it's probably because the guy was Chinese. Oh, baby! What the fuck are you doing in the woods, man? <laughs> like it says, People's Liberation Army. Right there. But fuck me, right? <laughs> oh well, I guess it's time to focus back on the main objective. We tried. I can't do it. Remembering we had obtained a helicopter pilot okay, got it. for Universal Petroleum. In order to get him back, you'll need helicopter support. Do you have it? Yes. I was off to UP to see what was up. Tasked with rescuing their marketing exec, the same hen who is also, coincidentally, our key to Blanco. Like, the only one. Why the helicopter? Couldn't have spared one of your helis, huh? You totally could. Which means this exec would be dead if not for me, and I don't think I care. No one cares. Moving on. Placing and protecting listening posts to help triangulate the kidnapper's position, we were well on our way to locating him. That should do it! And this... was... pointless. Can we not just place them and leave? Like, I don't get it. Like, why do I need to protect these at all? And if I need to, wouldn't they know? I don't understand. If they knew, then we'd be fucked, right? Fuck. One of the listening posts is taking damage! I'm this is dumb. Finally locating the kidnappers after fighting the world. I just pulled in front of them. Not suspicious at all, no alarm bells. And stole the truck. And we raced off to the UP headquarters. You can either take him there yourself or call for an I got it, Fiona. Uh, can't drive. You can either Shut up! Well, with the marketing exec safe, I decided to waste more of our time by fully smoothing things out with the rebels. Unfortunately, you convinced the gorillas you're not a threat anymore. I want to make sure we have all our ducks in a row before we take on Balanco. Perhaps they will have more info. I mean, there's so much to do. It's so little time. Meeting up with Marcella, we discussed Mendez. He's the commander behind the VC occupation on Moretta. Ah. Agreeing to exchange information for information. Certainly worth trading for what I know about Blanco. Even though I told you for free. Eventually finding out it's not even that. Because it's a contract. Then I do indeed have a contract for you. Like, how is... Whatever, god damn it. 
Let's go kill Mendez. We don't know exactly where Mendez is. Duh. What's happening right now? Maybe to cause enough commotion to get Mendez to talk, I blew my way through their base. Alarming Mendez and allowing us to locate his position. It looks like he's moving to the football stadium. Um, soccer stadium. Blasting into Mendez's soccer field base. The most obvious strategically beneficial base anyone could think of. He seems to have some difficulty letting go of the game. With no time for jokes, I'm told about a gorilla safe house that needs protection. An obvious urgent crisis that needs my immediate attention. Sounds like we've got an optional objective. I didn't make it. <laughs> I told you this is no time for jokes. This is serious. Very serious. Very serious. Very serious. This time, literally blasting my way in. Thanks, Dick. I confronted Mendez's men. The Mendezes. Also known as trying to concentrate on eliminating the rocket threat from Captain Fucking Dickhead. I shot the only fucking guy I was supposed to miss. Like the first one! <laughs> Fuck me, you're tied up now. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna leave you here, say cheese. This doesn't feel like victory, and I'm disappointed. We must also bask in our defeats, people, as well as our victories. Anyway, with Mendez out of the way, an info on Blanco's meeting. There was only one thing left to do. Ava Navarro is in West Maracaibo and probably available. Heading far north to West Maracaibo, I met up with Eva, who's apparently heard of me. It seems nice on the outside, but inside is bossy. This is not optional. Forced to build a damn monster car before she even works with us, I was tasked with finding a suitable base. To begin with, I need an appropriate base. Well, there it is. Looks like the right model. Good thing I showed up. Wouldn't want to walk out your front door. <laughs> Wait. Assembling all the bullshit for her monster car, like the chassis, engine, and transmission. And that's it. Alright, now we need a transmission that can handle that kind of torque. Something heavy duty. I think a fire truck's transmission would be best. No joke, car plus tank plus fire truck equals monster car. Everyone knows that. <laughs> this entire experience had me baffled. Now we need a transmission that can handle that kind of torque. Something heavy duty. Like, what do you mean? Use the tanks. No? Wouldn't it make more sense to take the transmission from the engine that's already using it? I mean, I'm not a mechanic, but I think one of those could be removed and we'd still have what we need. I don't know. I'm getting too far into this. Hopefully, that's the last of what I even need. It's Bill. And I'm lazy. Yeah, you think I'm getting into that fucking Frankenstein's monster? You are out of your damn mind. Well, guys, I hope you all enjoyed part two of Mercenaries 2, Solano's Revenge. This was a crazy episode. So many ridiculous missions and cutscenes. I feel like dumber for having played this, but... Thank you, everyone, again for all your love and support. You guys are seriously great, and I appreciate your suggestions and patience. I hope everyone is doing well. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for part three, where we will finally get our hands on Blanco again. Man, I really thought we were going to get him this time. Oh well. And as always, thanks for watching.